Welcome to Carly Talks Music. This is a weekly vlog where I analyze the musical elements of a song that I choose for that week. Um, also bringing in, talking about lyrics and emotions that come up and you know maybe how it relates to my life. This week I decided to talk about the song Would It Kill You by Hello Goodbye. Uh, it's off of their album with the same name, Would It Kill You, came out in 2010. And the reason I chose this song was because I feel like it's very relatable at this point in my life. Um, uh, in a brief synopsis, it's basically about, in, or the main line in the song is, would it kill you just to let it all work out, trying so hard just to break it down. And I feel like um, as an almost graduate of college, uh, questioning, you know, maybe what I want to do after this, it's very pertinent to my life right now. So, here we go. For those of you that listen to Hello Goodbye or know them from their other album, what is it, the, like, it, Zombies, Vampires, Dinosaurs, something or other like that. It has a, the album title like that. I can't remember off the top of my head what order they go in, but there are four of them in there like that. Um, that album was more electronic. There was, uh, I feel like there was more auto-tune, but what I really love about this album, Would It Kill You, is that it's more raw than like they've ever done. There's really no auto-tune, they do a lot more acoustic things. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's always nice to see a band, you know, grow and change what they're doing. You don't want to always hear the same thing from a band. So this song kind of, it's very upbeat the whole time. Uh, and what I, I guess, upbeat meaning the sound of it, not the lyrics. The lyrics aren't really upbeat um, in terms of like happy because they're talking about you know would it kill you just to let it work out like stop analyzing everything and just like let it happen. Um, yeah it starts off um, with some fun guitar strumming. Hello Goodbye does a lot of cool different strum patterns that what I took away from this song also is that there are little piano riffs or guitar riffs or like just little musical snippets of other instruments in between lyrical lines, which makes me feel that they really want you to pay attention to what the song is saying. So they put these little do-do-do-do-do things kind of in between the lyrical lines so that you'll pay more attention to what he's saying. Maybe that's not true, but that's, that's how I feel it, because then you're not thinking about that little riff in the background behind the vocals. The song has acoustic and electric elements in it. Um, starts out more acoustic, kind of transitions into more electric later on. And um, once you get to the bridge and like the the bridge into the end of the song, it's very, I guess, upbeat. I don't want to use the same word twice, but it's. Um, I feel like it has a very driving feeling. You. You really under if you're listening to the lyrics at the same time, you're really feeling what he's saying, because of how the drums are incorporated, and then also at the in the bridge at the very end, you know there's a lot of different instruments in there. There's the distorted electric guitars, uh, keyboards and drums, and I don't know. I just feel like when you're listening to this song, it just keeps saying, you know. Would it kill you just to let it all work out? I mean, obviously they say that lots of times in the song because that's the name of the song. <laughs> but I just feel like the lyrics, the way that they put the song together with, you know, the kind of happy-go-lucky sounding, but the lyrics are deeper than that. They're not as happy. But at the same time, because of what they're saying and like how the song is, I feel like if you're one of those people who's analyzing everything all the time, like me, um, and you're asking yourself, you know, stop analyzing, but like you can't, um, this song pushes you into a happier feeling, I, th I think, and makes you, it makes you want to, you know, just let it go and stop analyzing everything. Just the way, um, it's, I mean, it's a very fun sounding song. They have the, uh, if you don't listen to Hello Goodbye, Forrest's, Forrest is the lead singer, 
um, and guitarist, and his he has a very um, characteristic vocal quality, and it's always, I mean, his, he doesn't ever have that kind of like raspy, low tone to his voice, like, it's a higher pitched than a normal male voice, um, and its tone is different, there's kind of a, a lighter tone to it. it, there aren't really any Hello Goodbye songs that I've heard that I can remember off the top of my head that have any kind of dark, like, deep quality, you know, um, they're all pretty, you know, happy sounding, um, I don't know, that's, I feel like that's cool because, I don't know, you don't get that very often, I mean, there are artists who have their happy sounding songs and then there are artists that have their sad sounding songs, and Hello Goodbye is a band, I feel, that maybe they try to feed off of more positive energy than anything. And that's something that we could use more of in, you know, the music industry of positive thinking because there's so much neg negativity that goes around. Um, yeah, but uh, vocals at the end of the song are par probably my favorite because it's like he's kind of throwing all caution to the wind and he kind of goes up at the very end and he's just, I don't know, you feel like he's having fun when he's singing the song and he really feels what he's singing and and to be able to feel that through a recorded version you know like the studio version is even better and I feel like that this song definitely has that as a part of it I feel like the lyrics in this song are I don't know I guess they just are super relatable and that's why I like the song so much uh, it's basically talking about you know loafing around waiting for something else to come around and you know would it kill you to let it work out and not try to you know work so hard to, I don't know, you know, overexert yourself to make something happen when it could have just happened if you let it happen, or, I don't know, I guess also when I think of this, I feel like at this point in my life, everyone's like, oh, what are you going to do for the rest of your life? It's like, I don't know, I'm 22, I don't know what I'm going to have for dinner tonight, let alone what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life. Um, so... <laughs> I guess that's where the the emotion for this song comes out is that it's so you know relatable to what's happening in my life right now. Um, but it's also telling me, you know, don't think about it too much, just let it happen. And even though you know all these adults and all of your peers at school are like, well, what are you going to do after graduation? And it's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Um, I'll figure it out. It'll work out. I'm, I'm not worried. <laughs>